Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and today we got some pretty interesting Hearthstone news that may affect the future of the game, because Augustine Ayala Ixar tweeted that after 11 years I am leaving Blizzard, and Ixar was the game director of Hearthstone, so pretty much in charge of the game's overall direction, and we don't have the name of the new game director yet, I don't, I'm not sure if there is one yet, but anyway. Pixar, Hearthstone is an incredible game. To have played even a small part in its creation is an honor I'll never forget. Thank you to all the players and a special thank you to my fellow game creators. I'm proud of all we built together. And because Itzhan's departure was so sudden, there has been <laughs> lots of speculation like, okay, maybe these runestones were the final straw, maybe he was kicked out, maybe he left because he opposed runestones and they were pushed out anyway. So, well, conspiracy theories all over the place. Be that as it may, changes may happen for Hearthstone in the future. Then again, looking at Ixar's tenure, there were some highlights to Ixar's tenure as well. Ixar, we're definitely in a new world. We used to view card changes as a negative thing. We'd only do when the positive was so great it outweighed the negative of change. These days, I'd say the negative of card changes is viewed as a very minor thing. So, card changes, Hearthstone is making a lot more balance changes nowadays than it used to, and that is a good thing. It's a digital card game, and it has finally embraced that. Originally, of course, it was copied from Magic, and Magic as a physical card game, well, Errata is kind of a thing, bans are kind of a thing, but those are really tricky to use, whereas digital card games are free to completely change the cards. And Hearthstone only in the recent years has finally started to add up that thinking and really do a lot of balance changes. So overall that has been a positive. Also, whether you adore mercenaries or whether you hate mercenaries, Mixar didn't have much to do with that. I was not at all involved with Merc, then went on Paternal shortly after launch. So yeah, Ixar got a little bit more involved with Mercenaries this year in his role as game director, but before this year with the launch of Mercenaries he didn't have much to do with that. And even this year he hasn't really had much to do with anything that has been published because we haven't really gotten much for Mercs. Anyway, good or bad for Mercs, Ixar didn't really affect anything in that regard anyway. Then some of the more neutral things that didn't improve during Ixar's tenure. Hearthstone rules have always been more about best words to help players understand versus exactly correct in all circumstances. Yeah, Hearthstone rules, Hearthstone wording has always been lackluster, lacking in detail, lacking in attention, sloppily done, just poorly done. And that comes from the top. How do you manage these people? How do you direct them? And Ixar as a game director definitely was not going to make Hearthstone any more consistent. So yeah, in that regard, but that was not a in problem introduced by Ixar. I mean, Ben Broad wasn't exactly known as the star of consistency and like processes either, but Ixar definitely didn't improve the game in that regard. So maybe we can get a more organized game director now who will actually be able to sort out the game better. So chance for improvement there. But also potentially chance for improvement regarding the game design. Seems generally more pro-risk than we have been in the past, accepting more complexity and more high emotion cards. High emotion cards like high emotion cards that Hixar has defended include cards like Illusia, for example, and I have no doubt that Teotar is a card that Hixar has also enjoyed. Teotar, Illusia, Disruption. Disruption has been more welcomed than I first imagined, and he's been quite a vocal proponent of that, whereas the original Hearthstone design idea was that people don't like when they lose cards from their hand. People don't like losing cards from their deck. They should be avoided, those situations. So in this regard, we might be getting into better places now with Ixar gone. Also, funnily enough, I wasn't sure at what point Ixar was doing what, so I looked at his LinkedIn profile. Game director for Hearthstone from February 2022, lead designer from November 2016, game designer from February 2014, and that lead designer period. In another tweet, Ixar said that Rise of Shadows was the one where he was, was the expansion that he was last doing really much hands-on work. So Rise of Shadows, after that it was Savers of Uldum, after that it was Descent of Dragons. The second expansion where Ixar was the lead designer was the expansion that really started Hearthstone's downfall. It was the expansion that really started the change in game design, in design philosophy, that has led to where Hearthstone is right now. 
So yeah, in some ways you could infer from this that XR making it to the lead designer affected this a lot. Also, he was game director for such a short time that he was still the lead designer when sets like Murder at Castle Natria were designed, also when the last set of this year was designed. So we're still living in that XR world and looking at what has happened in the design philosophy over these years, I'm much more hopeful about XR leaving than I'm fearful. We'll see how it goes. We don't have real deep insight into what is going on with the team, of course. Maybe XR was always fighting the good fight, but everything points to the opposite direction. And yeah, things can definitely get worse, but things can also get a lot better. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.